Solomon's haunting refrain in the book of Ecclesiastes still echoes in our day. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. Utterly pointless, terribly temporary, frustratingly futile. What's the use? Ecclesiastes 1 and 2 Everything Solomon made, everything he got, everything he built, everything he did, would not last. Ah! Solomon was building an earthly kingdom with earthly materials, amassing an earthly fortune that would not, could not, and did not last. The reality of his own mortality, the brevity of his life, and the transitory nature of his work led him to despair. Why learn if I can't live to use the knowledge? Why build if it won't last? Why save money if others are just going to take it and spend it when I'm dead? Why sacrifice if it's all going to burn anyway? This is the tragic conclusion of living life under the sun. That's a phrase Solomon uses to describe life down here, having lost sight of life up there. I know of nothing so totally contrary and opposite to Solomon in Ecclesiastes than Paul's statement in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. This is living life under the S-O-N sun, not the S-U-N. I know of nothing so delightfully energizing than the realization that you and I are investing this one life of ours in something that will outlive our earthly pilgrimage and outlast the universe. What you and I are doing matters. We're building a kingdom of eternal souls that will be glorified to magnify the eternal God for all of eternity. The growth we initiate here is guaranteed to blossom and bear fruit forever. Our labor, our service, our sacrifice, though it may seem small, insignificant, and flawed, yet it's not in vain. Our efforts are not pointless or transitory. We invest in the lives of everlasting image bearers of God. It does make a difference, a difference that will last forever. Lord, I pray that you would help us today to keep our eyes on the goal, not just this earthly life, but eternal life in your presence forever. Help us to live this day knowing it will matter forever. And for your glory, we ask it in your name. Amen.